could say, you know, with that experience by itself, you know, being in the New Hampshire House six years, writing legislation done on your behalf, that would be enough to qualify him to run for Congress. But if I left it there, I'd only be telling you really one tenth of the story. See, Bob is a graduate of the United States Naval Academy. And most of you know the mission of the United States Naval Academy is to build a cadre of leaders for the U.S. Navy and the United States Marine Corps. And I could just leave it there, but Bob took the next step. He became a Marine, which everybody in this room knows is the toughest fighting unit that this country and this world has ever seen. And he took the next step from there. He became a Marine Aviator Combat Pilot. So you can see with that military background, the ability that he received from the Naval Academy for, in geopolitics and the application of military force, with that in and of itself and his leadership capabilities, that would be enough to qualify him to be an excellent congressman. But there's more. When Bob left his military service, he became an FBI leader. Another way for him to give back service to the people by becoming a cop. And he helped create the cyber terrorism unit that exists today because of his knowledge and background in that area that he attained from the United States military the Naval Academy. So with the, the background as a policeman, law enforcement, military, you can see that those qualities are enough to, to make Bob an excellent congressman. After he left the FBI, Bob decided to become a commercial airline pilot. And even there, he didn't take the easy course. He didn't take the domestic simple routes. No, he took the oceanic routes flying either to Asia or Europe, the most difficult routes that there are. And after 9-11, Bob didn't participate with the airline pilots wanting to arm themselves in the cockpit. Bob led the effort. The same leadership capabilities that he acquired from the United States Naval Academy that he demonstrated as a cop. Leadership in the New Hampshire House, leadership in taking his union, that's right, a union member, to arm themselves to protect those people under his charge as he flies those routes with three, 350 people overseas from all the various countries that he went to. Now, again, with that, you would think that, okay, Bob is qualified to be a congressman, but there's more. No one can argue that right now the most dangerous place in the world is that border between Afghanistan and Pakistan. Bob's been there. Bob has not only been there, he has been, had feet on the ground. In fact, because of his ability and all the flying that he has done, for every trouble spot that exists in the globe, Bob has been there feet on the ground. So you would think that just with that in and of itself, that qualifies Bob to be your next congressman. Well, you can see by his education, his military experience, his public safety training, his command presence with the safety of hundreds of people, and his experience in our state legislature, Bob is ready from day one to be an excellent congressman. No on-the-job training required. Whether he was at 30,000 feet at 500 miles per hour, or at 100 feet at Mach 1, or at zero altitude, with both feet firmly on the ground, Bob has been to every trouble spot on the globe. The kind of person you want to have as your next congressperson. This isn't just talk, he's done it. I am sure that you will come to appreciate him the same way that I have in working with him. But Bob Guided is ready right now to be your next congressperson. Thank you very much. I'll be around the room to answer any questions.
questions you may have, have a good rest of the meeting. Thank you.